Hey, you know what? So many of our kids were excited about going back. Who's excited about being back in class? Yeah. Well, only half of the, the student body is really going back today in those uh, first through 12th grades. They're doing a staggered start to the school year, but you might notice some changes. As we first mentioned, there's about $20 million worth of Ida damage across the parish when it came to our public school facilities. Many of those repairs still ongoing, but here at Ponchatoula High School, they've got a brand new roof across the entire campus. They've got brand new flooring. Last year, the kids had to walk on concrete, but this year, some great colored flooring that kind of, you know, matches that, that uh, green and white theme. In addition to that, there are are eight new permanent building uh, permanent classrooms in the works as part of a new permanent building being constructed and 10 new modular buildings going up in the back all to facilitate the uh, 2100 plus students that will be attending Pontchartula High School this school year. Of course, a big focus on attendance this year, getting kids back into the classroom at a regular time because COVID has really kind of thrown us all for a loop in terms of our schedules. But another big focus this year is also going to be getting more staff. Well, they're fully staffed here at Ponchatoula High School in terms of their teachers. Custodians are desperately needed really across the parish as our bus drivers. I love my families. My, my grandparents and parents meet me at the door on a daily basis. And on that note, one bus driver in Tangipaho Parish is on her own quest to highlight the need for staff. And also while driving a bus can be pretty fun. All new on WDSU News this morning, we tell you about the reward that's really keeping her behind the wheel and her push to get more folks into that profession. She's one of the first faces these kids see in the morning. Greet them with a smile. Good morning. And the last before they go home. Say goodbye and have a great day. And Tammy Turner is making those moments count. We treat each other with respect. We call each other a bus family. I'm bus mama. For 10 years, this mom on the move has been going the extra mile to create lasting impressions with her young passengers as a bus driver in Tangipahoe Parish. She's like the best bus driver ever. <laughs> From fun videos to dress up days, even special occasions, she celebrates these kids. She has her calendar and she marks everybody's birthday up there. Just walking on the bus and, and getting on the bus in the mornings and all, you kind of feel like you're part of a family. Turner calls it her little classroom on wheels, which also turns out some life lessons. The kids do chores. We sweep, we uh, wipe down the the dashboard. They learn to respect each other because they know that I truly care and they know that they're going to get that positive reinforcement and she makes sure that safety is always in the rear and front view. Never had to worry about my kids safety on her bus. I've never had to worry. Was well, this bus driver going to come today or not? This year she'll have about 70 faces on her bus, a packed house since fewer bus drivers are getting behind the wheel. But Turner is hoping that by sharing her experience, she'll encourage others to step up. You work 180 days a year, uh, five hours a day, I mean, it, and you get full benefits. But the biggest benefit, the lasting relationships that she's made with her kids and their families. One little hug is all it takes. And I mean, just to see their little smiling faces in the morning and, you know, it, they bring you just a ton of joy. No, I'm, I'm going to treat them like my own children. You know, that's, that's what I try to do. A great motto there to live by by Miss Turner. And of course, if you're interested in applying to any of the open positions here in Tangipahoe Parish, they've got tons of information on their Facebook page as well as their website. For these students here, they're getting ready. They're going to play some tunage for us as, uh, as we kind of send you off into break. But of course, great school year in store for these students. And we're really hoping it's a one that's going to get them off on the right foot and be successful all year long. So as we go to break here, I'm going to let you guys hear some of the sounds from the Ponchatoula High School Marching Band and also the cheer team here.